welcome to Rajal Nai. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the full stack analyst. As you all well aware about, full stack development is becoming popular nowadays in a cross application development. Either we are doing web development or application development, or it may be an enterprise development and all that. So full stack development is becoming essentially important for any application development nowadays. Earlier, if you see in reference to the projects, what is that we used to develop? There will be of three different things. Normally, this is what we call it as three different layers of the project, where you will be having a presentation layer as separate, middle layer as, as separate, business or logic layer we used to call it as, and followed by this data layer. This is how generally the layers of the application usually used to segregate. Presentation layer is what you see on the screen. Business and logic layer is what we do, whatever the coding part and all everything comes under business and logic layer. Followed by this data layer, nothing but whatever the database we are creating and all everything comes under data layer. So these are the three different layers wherein we see in reference to the application itself is concerned. So we used to have a presentation layer as separate and wherein people there were people earlier those days like uh, who takes care of full stack development in reference to the front end itself i am talking about right only user interface designs all that there will be some java programmers or someone who used to write the code for the project comes under business and logic layer where database layer where database administration people will be there who looks after the database designing creation all that so this is earlier but nowadays this is all confined and this is all something comes under a single umbrella which is all we call it as full stack development or a full stack developer nowadays we were calling it as a full stack developer the role of a full stack developer nowadays is to take care of all the three layers either in the beginning level mid level and as well as the back end level so all these things comes under the full stack development Whereas when we talk about the front end and all everything relating to the client side, what whoever is using the application, that is all comes under the client side. When it comes to the back end and all everything, server side. Server side means database creations and all everything, or database writing the code for the database and all everything comes under the server side portions of the application. So this is all brief about the full stack development, which normally nowadays. Uh, it's becoming prominent and uh, nowadays most of the organizations are looking for full stack developers and all everything on this context now the second is analyst being an analyst analysis is nothing but analysis is as you know well analyst or an analysis is a kind of word we use to understand about the kind of problems what an individual or a group of people facing or else for an enterprise or for an organization is facing based on that they used to understand and as well as they used to create value for the data what is that we have collected in terms of data collection and all at the same time processing the data storing of data at the same time query of the data which is all something relating to sql all that structured query language where we extract the queries and uh, we distribute it at the same time data visualization using different different uh, tools nowadays as you see like tableau power bi and all everything were comes into picture so by understanding this data visualization all that stuff followed by this business understanding about the customer needs and demands followed by this whatever the best and better solution are we going to provide comes under analyst so this presentation and as well as this course is a combination of full stack development with analysis means full, both, both full stack development followed by the analyst role both will be clubbed into this hence we have created a course called full stack analyst where you will be learning about the development part of the full stack at the same time you will be learning about the analysis part so the advantage here is that whoever is applying for a business a job opportunities and all so they can apply and they can make themselves to prepare from the both levels in the development level as well as the analysis level so that whichever is really fruitful there there whichever is really helpful to them are they capable enough to handle that role so they can move on to that role and all everything accordingly 
in future so this is all the reason why the full stack analyst role or the co course what is that we have created is for that reason next we are going to discuss about what technologies are there in the front end so this is a high level view which i am going to explain you here so this i have divided in a simple more tense as four different things one is about the languages second is about the frameworks and libraries third is about server side development four is a database now when you talk about when you talk about the first one when is about the languages this is all comes under the front end part means html like hypertext markup languages css stands for cascading style sheets javascript using javascript and all so whatever the front page creations whatever we do whatever the login page creations and all everything front end development all these things comes under this part this is all comes under markup languages all that right so this is all comes under that second is frameworks and libraries something like angular js react js bootstrap jquery's all these frameworks and libraries which are being used to connect all these languages server side developments and all everything to connect with these are the frameworks which normally we are using for development and the third is server side development where here we write different different code using php or c c++ or it may be relating to java or it may be a python or it may be a scripting language called javascript or maybe a node js for that so all these things comes under server side development part because server side development means from our development client side development means who is going to use end of the day so this is how generally the differentiation is next is database development means whatever the database we are creating something like using oracle or sql server all these things comes under oracle next is mongodb this is something uh, uh, prominency has increased nowadays and as well as the importance has increased as well this is all comes under mongodb part followed by the sql sql nothing but structured query language which will be used to extract the information from the database so that whatever the reports and all everything we want to generate everything can be done using this so these are the four different levels which you can see in front end one is about the languages part as i mentioned you html all that markup languages to pre prepare login page creations all that frameworks will be used for angular js react js all that server side development like php javascript java node js all that at the same time database something relating to oracle mongodb sql server all that so this is all something relating to the technology and front end development and this is what generally the diagram you can see being a full stack development person or a full stack developer this is how generally these people must be connecting with of course this is a presentation in visually which i am showing you to have a better understanding next in reference to the role of a business analyst so whatever i have discussed you so far about full stack development and full stack developer but in reference to the business full stack, full stack development or full stack analyst itself is concerned so these are the responsibilities and tasks those people will perform the first thing is that ideation and validation of new opportunities whatever the opportunities we have identified what opportunities are there so ideation and validation of new opportunities will be done here second we need to create a scope and vision of the project because unless until if there is no scope and vision of the product or a project that doesn't have any value because how expertise the technical people work how expertise architect or project management team or the development team or a project manager is unless until we don't have a clear vision about and vision as well as the scope of the project that doesn't have any value at all so creating scope and vision of the product is also essentially important for any of the project to perform it at the same time breaking the project into different different segments so that whatever the goals we want to achieve and all everything would become much easier for us this is all something like short term and long term goals i can say because long term goals is something which we see from the long term perspective short term goals is what we want to achieve on every time time to time and all everything these achievables can be done next developing solutions whatever the solutions we required and all everything those solutions can be developed here at the same time monitoring and analyzing the metrics which is essentially required and important so that monitoring part and analyzing part will also be done here next developing user experiences and all by preparing some layouts templates 
for any of the websites and all everything can also be done by this full stack analyst because when we are creating websites and all that user interface and user experience two different things user interfaces you are creating but user experience which people wants to visit that website once and twice right so that sort of user experience you have to create especially if you see nowadays for e-commerce business and e-commerce projects or travel related uh, projects or websites if you see it require more user experience because people should explore more about that website people should more passionate towards using that website that is essentially required so this is all comes under user experience part at the same time understanding the business requirements of the development for the purpose of the project development and all everything will also be comes under this category so this is all about the full stack analyst which normally we see so this is all comes under the full stack analyst part so this is what the complete video and as well as the introduction about this so as i mentioned in the beginning even this is a combination of full stack analyst is a combination of full stack development come analyst which is a combination of it so that whoever wants to perform their career or pursue their career into full stack development can go into that level at the same time who wants to have some hands on experience even into analyst maybe in future may not be interested in development if they want to go for analysis side on to project management side and all that so, so this is an entry career where they can move their profiles and all everything into this grounds so this is a combination of full stack development come analyst it's a rare combination of course you don't see anywhere this to be honest i can say that proudly because this is a combination of the course which is being introduced for everyone whoever wants to pursue their career or who wants to transform their career into the field of it or people who are working on it and who wants to uh, make their career into development or into analysis and all or either one or both this uh, course is much useful to them for more details regarding this course and as well as the training needs and all that please visit visit our uh, contact details which will be posted below to this video so that we are happy to provide all the information to you. Thank you. Bye.